Hi guys, got a quick video for you here. I just thought I'd do a really quick one. This is a site I'm working on currently and I thought it'd be a good chance to show SEO Presser in action. Now, you've probably heard of SEO Presser. Basically, it's a plugin for WordPress that gives you SEO suggestions and helps you with your SEO. Now, I'm pretty a dab hand at SEO, even if I do say so myself, but it is a go-to plugin that I go to, uh, that I use, and um, they've recently updated it, and it's now called SEO Presser Connect. You'll find my full review of this plugin below in the description, so do check that out where I go into exactly what it does and so on. But what I thought I'd do is a quick video, because it's always good to see this plugin in action, and I wanted to show you some of the very basic options and how it works and why it's so good so let me just say about this plugin I won't make this video very long but you don't need it okay so that sounds like a weird thing to say because you can see my review below and you'll be able to buy it but you don't need it in terms of you can do all the stuff it does yourself the only problem is the same with keyword software and so on if you were to do it manually it can take a long time so and I know this isn't a keyword tool but with SEO if you're newer to SEO if you're having trouble ranking your sites as it happens I'm not having trouble ranking my sites I mean I actually teach this stuff and there's some things I disagree with on SEO presser when it gives me suggestions so I don't do them so you know use it as a guide but if you are having trouble ranking your sites or if you're newer this is a must go to plugin because it will allow you to get into the practice and it's almost like having an SEO expert sat in your WordPress with you and I'll show you exactly why. So here we here we are. I won't show you the full article but it's just a it's just a, a an article of Amazon review on this product and as an example I've put the X Rocker here. Um I've put the key phrase there you know you can select up to three I would suggest only selecting one or two because it can get difficult to work out unless you've got loads of content okay uh, but you can see here what you're really looking for is a green score now I personally think when you get this if you pick it up um, get anything above 70 percent and you're fine but I'll whiz through because I don't want to make the, make the video too long you don't need this perfect but I'll just show you how it looks so it'll give me suggested optimization you're wanting to have you want a message that says your content is well optimized i i know um you know not not to sound like that sounded really big headed but i know it's well optimized i've done it for a long time um and there's some suggestions like here use different lsi keywords using too many of the same you know i i'm pretty much sure it will be fine but when you're starting out it would be a good idea to follow these but what you get is a um a, a run through of exactly what you need to change and what you need to do and uh, this is the main thing I mean content readability is excellent when you're getting that on your sites it's all fresh content all unique content keywords found in the URL um, keywords found in the title keywords found at the beginning of your title keywords found in your meta description and the length of your meta description is excellent you know so passing with flying colors but you don't what I'm saying guys is when you're using this you don't need to get it on um, you don't need to get it on a hundred percent for it to be optimized to say anything over 70 percent really really good tool I will do a few videos on this because it's actually far more powerful than just giving you an SEO score you've got some really good tools in there like the social and the schema and so on um, but I just thought I'd show you it working go for a good readability good word count and the SQ density is up to you. I mean, it says I need to improve it, but I know it will be fine. But anything above 2.5 to 3% is good. It's saying a little bit higher at 3%, but I think it's fine. But I just thought I'd show you it in action. And if you're interested, if you've sort of been looking for an SEO presser, check out my review below because I've got a, a full review of the actual SEO presser and I've got an optional. If you get it through my link, I've got an optional um, bonus for you where I go more in depth about SEO Presser and tell you how to use it. So check it out, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.